Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back on La Milana 2 tonight. It's been a hot minute since we played this last, about a week, I would say. Um, so we're gonna take a little bit of time to get apprised of where we left this off. I think last time we discovered a new area. Um, did we pick up a new mantra as well? I don't remember now. I, I think we picked up two maybe in the session before that. So let's just take a quick scan around what we got here. Oh, and I gotta pull up my maps here too. Otherwise, I'm not gonna know where the fuck to go. Uh, alright, so we got all those apps and those mantras. Alright, so, yeah, we definitely picked up Moon and Sun recently. So we got three more to go, apparently. Uh, do we pick up any other items? I don't think so. We've had this dumb egg of creation for a while, and I don't think we've actually used it. Um, oh, we did pick up the money slip thing, though, didn't we? And we grabbed the heart. Um was expensive as all hell, and then that dude told us, he was like, oh, no, it's not my Harper, blah, blah, blah. When we picked up, um, <clears throat> the music thing, I guess, right? Right? Manga Musica, and then we heard from Orpheus that he wrote the... Da -da 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 was it Eden, right? Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, if it just stops the music when we do that, that'd be weird. Um, okay, and then we picked up the perfume, I think? I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly true. Um, we're getting kind of stacked for items. Like, we have no other garb, though, huh? That's unfortunate. <laughs> like, I want funny costumes and shit to wear. What the hell? Where is all this garbo that we can't pick up? Um, but okay, okay, okay. So let's... First of all, let's go back to... Um, Let's go back to the Eternal Prison. I know we probably can't do much there, um, but it should probably serve as a pretty good reminder of what we should be doing. Alright. Nice, nice jump and nice fucking grab. It's perfect with that. Uh, so, how best to get there? I think we can just go directly south from here, right? And that should do it. Just fall directly down and we're there? I hope so. Yeah, I think we should be good. Yeah, okay, so now I think we have a map of this place? Right? Yeah, we do. Uh, let's see, Eternal Prison. Yeah. So, the problem, however, is that I think if we get to a certain point in this area, we can't get back out. So we gotta be careful. We have to be a little careful. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Uh, let's just check around a bit. Let's jump around a touch and see what we can do. Put the katana out for good measure, just in case things go super wrong. What was the deal with this dude? Did it matter? Praise Vulgar, that's right. Um, Write that down, I guess. What the hell? Okay, I got it signed in apparently to like use this. Why it's signed me out of my own goddamn maps here, but who knows? Okay, so the statue of Harielsberger. Is that. Is vulgar. Spelled how it sounds. That's a period of modern iguana that appears to be made of stone. Oh, that's right. This was the um, alternate form of Ratatoska, right? So I think. I think we need all 12 crystal skulls for this? If I'm not mistaken? It's hard to tell, though. It's really hard to tell. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure where we want to go for this now. So we just kind of wind around a bit and see where it brings us. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. 
Ouch. That's quite a bit of health to take damage there. Hey, Deck of Legend, how you doing? Much appreciate for the seven month recent. Good lord, has it been seven months already? Jeez. <laughs> Time fucking flies! Time fucking flies, my friend, doesn't it? Ouch. Ow, fucking spiky haired motherfucker. Oh, rare. Two years since GDQ. Yeah, just about, huh? Come July, right? It'll be two years. My goodness. Hey, former guard in the underworld, and has passed through seven gates, yada yada yada. Okay, yeah, we talked to her again, didn't we? I did work the rest out for myself. We've already got the, the shit written down. We just need to get the rest of the gear to be able to do this. I think. That's the... The working theory, anyways. Ouch. Ah, what the? Ah, what spikes there? It's so lame. He's dead already. I started with a good amount of health. Can we get that? Yeah, 33. Woo! Ouch! What the fuck? Where the fuck was he? Put your dumbass bouncing around. Asshole. <clears throat> um, okay, so I think that gate leads me deeper in. Which I don't want to do just yet. Not yet. Much soon though, since in the beer is the Dark Starlight's Pyramid, blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay, okay. Whatever. Care about that just yet, I don't think. I don't know that we can even do anything with it. Oh, that's right, that was the weird sequence of shit that we accidentally figured out <laughs> that we shouldn't have been able to do, I don't think, yet. <laughs> okay, and now the. Yeah, the other bit to this is that I think I've always been taking this door, which takes me out, I want to say. I don't think I've ever taken this door. I guess we'll see. Oh no, that also takes me out. Oh, it takes me out here. That's weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I didn't exactly want to come out here, so... Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's go back. Thankfully, it's a pretty, pretty quick trip back there. <coughs> Excuse me. Go back to Valhalla, a couple screens, and we're back. Um, but I think if I go deeply enough in, we'll get to a place that we can't go any further, so this may or may not be the right thing to do anyways. flat on your back. That's gotta be really painful. Like, that is spine-shattering. Okay, right, because it takes away my ability to use... Oopsie. It takes away my ability to use the Holy Grail as soon as I get into this place. That sucks, but hey, that's what we got to go with. Uh, uh, so let's see, let's go... Or is this where we were before? Okay, this is definitely where we were before. We don't want to be down here. So I don't think fucking... Um... Actually, hold on a second. This very well... Some of, get out of here! This very well might be where we want to go. Uh, so let's go... Like this, real quick. Uh... <laughs> uh oh! Okay, good. Oh, there's a... Oh, interesting! I didn't even notice that there was a doorway down. Fucking... God. This run system is terrible. 
Interesting. I did not notice there was a door down there. Or that there was one up there. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. I think I knew there was a door up there. I not 100% on how to get up to that one. Um, but the one down here we can probably get through. What's that, where's that gonna take me? Okay, it takes me over to... Map. I don't have a I don't have a map for this section of it, huh? Ooh, that could be dangerous. All right, well, information then. Here to see was turned to stone for breaking the code of the underworld. The last thing she hears is a song close to her heart, the song of paradise played by her husband. Okay, yeah, we've got we've got that technically. We've got the whole music deal we've got sorted out. Okay, if we could murder this thing, please, it'd be real nice. Thank you. I had a map for this section so we could at least write shit down, but such a thing will not be given to us, I suppose. Do some research here. There you go, Corporal. Hey, you want fair 400 bucks? I don't have 400 bucks. That's probably the key fairy, though, at the very least. 400 bucks. Jesus Christ. Okay. Not 400. <laughs> Bastard. Ah, fuck. Alright. Cool. Shut up, weirdo. <laughs> okay, well, we know where the last one is, at the very least. Just a, a damn shame we can't... <laughs> bitch. Can't do anything about it. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm zooming his creation as he's begotten of pure water, so he answered that undefiled clear waters of creation. I'm sure that might be important later. Some nice health refill while we're down here, but who knows what's gonna happen. Tsunami's soul. Among the gates to hell lies a fake gate. Past the gates, there's a deep valley called the Ligjandable. I've heard stories that suggest otherwise. At past the fake gate, there lived a demon called... whatever. It takes the form of a man who can control forces of destruction. There seems to be some sort of secret to the fake gate. Gee, thanks! Gee, thanks for that not great hint. <laughs> those who have died cannot return to the world of the living. Let those who would defy this, whomever they may be, be warned. That may not even gaze upon the world of the living. The living should be grateful simply for being alive. Words to live by, I guess. Grateful for being alive. Okay. We need at least write this down because this is gonna be uh gates to hell equals a fake gates. Bullock gendable Okay, that's about as much as I can write down, I suppose. <laughs> otherwise I have no oh, what was that? I thought I heard something there, it was just the swish of the katana. Yeah, we should be checking these walls just in case there's some weirdo garbo hidden beneath them or something. Because that's definitely not something Lama Lana does. No siree. Oh wait, we don't have the use of our, our grippy gramps anymore, do we? We do not. Ha. 
There is something there. That looks to be- oh, I've got an idea, except this might kill me. 46 health? Can I survive it, do you think? Let's see. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's not danger combustible gas, huh? Like, I see something there. It's gotta be... Like, that's gotta be another mantra there, wouldn't you think? There's just some shit covering it. So how can I get rid of that? If I have anything that can get rid of it. I, do. I think maybe I need grenades for this, but uh, where the hell would I get them? Unless I have a primary weapon that'll do it? No. I'll try scanning it regardless. Nothing. Yeah, that's definitely something there, though. You can't pull one over on me. Trying to be all clever and shit. Mm. Fucking stop! Ah! It's dead again. one, right? This was the uh, other fairy. Yeah. Yeah. Awful dangerous there. see. Okay. So I might be able to fall down to the left there? Can I jump through? No. Oh, and then there's a little eyeball thing here too, so they're not- they're not gonna like me if I start hitting shit. I can't jump up and through. Uh, let's try this once. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try it. So I think that's Eurydice. Yeah, that did work. Amazing. I'm not sure what that did, but it made the doop doop boop doop 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 thing, and the eyeball turned off. So cool. Now we can stab shit with impunity. Hmm. But what did that gain us, really? Not really a whole heck of a lot. I'm trying to be careful with this fucker because I don't want to die before I get the health refill. There we go. Ah, so close. Okay. Get this up here. Oh boy, that was very close. Um. <laughs> oh, come on, let's need a. Oh, there's the tablet too. Uh, it still says I'm not on the map though. Yeah. Be easier to traverse with my grippy gramps. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> I jump on the spikes on my own. Ah, damn it. Whoops. Alright, I think that just puts me back to the That's okay, that's okay. We have information. 
And now full health to work with, so that's probably pretty good. And also we know we need 400 buckos for the last berry. Jesus, why is it so expensive? And why aren't they giving me more, like, monies? In a game that seems to depend on a lot of monies, they do not give you a lot of opportunities for it. <sighs> Alright, well cool. Now we have somewhere to go and investigate a little bit further. Uh, wait, was this right? Yeah, 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 we need to go over to the left. Right, 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 right. Huh, that's it, really. That's why I didn't have a whole lot of health, I had to swim through this garbo. Just as in case it's important, I should probably go talk to these fucks again. Yada, yada yada one more time for good measure. Cool. Oh, I see a little thingy ding up there too. It's a damn shame I can't get it for some reason. Like, I see it. Why wouldn't you let me just reach out and grab it? It seems really odd and strange to me. <laughs> Of course, there's this thing. I figured it would just be a matter of burning off the excess material or something, that's why I used the flares before, but apparently it was incorrecting. Oh, goddammit, really? Nice. I to fucking bust that on the wrong space. there. Whoop. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I would have landed in those spikes there, which would have been death. Had not had such cat-like reflexes. Uh, come on! That's even fucking fair. Get out of here, that bullshit. Okay, take three. Yeah, good. Great. I'm glad the iframes never favor me.
Fate Gate, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, okay. <laughs> Again, almost dead. Dumb bullshit hitboxes. Thank you! Perfect! Glad you didn't catch the edge on that one. the eyeball off, but doesn't do much else, so far as we can see. Oh, maybe it clears that pathway down below? Who knows? Who knows? Scan anything and everything that's around here. over to the left, but how? <laughs> Just let me get over to the left, you idiots. The last gate to hell has endured several eras. The gate's decoration done by hell's hand. And the darn gates are also gates to hell. First gate will take something from your person. Yeah, I know. It took the fucking whatever from me. And I'm like, well, shit, I can't use that no more. Oh, I see water up there. Um. Hmm. <laughs> And this is a one-way gate. Uh, well, that's not exactly what I want. And those two are blue, which will take me out of here, which is good, I guess, but... Ah, damn it. No, I don't want to... I want to leave, necessarily. Oh, what the hell, really? They don't let me just climb up there? Somehow down on that left side and get to the damn save point. I'm out for some fuck now. My brother, the man who was murdered by the trickster, asked the guard Modgud where his brother's soul is to be found. Hell answered, When all weep for your brother, his revival will be permitted. Uh, the trickster did not weep, and so Hermod's brother did not return. Okay, cool. Good story, I guess. If I drop down there, I'm gonna be trapped. I just won't bother with that. Oh! Doo doo ba doo ba doo. Uh, well, I'm gonna die if I don't kill this thing here. Great! Perfect! Yeah, that's a real fucking convenient place to put me. Thanks. 
Thanks, Lamanana. Much appreciate on that one. Okay, so popping up that way gets me over there. Another chest. So once more with feeling. Funny business? Suck okay, it. stone. You can actually get the green goo from it. Thank you. Gate, yada yada yada. Are you serious? You're gonna drop me onto every goddamn spike on the way down. Ugh. Okay, I'm like two things away from a needle. Can we maybe get that without dying? Oh, God damn it. Ah, shit. Oh, 
off screen. Alright, well, this dude will share his juice with us. No? Okay, that's cool too. Figures. Hey, you're gonna go up and how you doing? Good to see you. Alright, so now if we just go through here. The good refill we're looking for. Blah 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 blah. Mod good. Yada yada yada. Is this gonna give us a scan thing? No, of course not. But this will open this and we'll get out of there right away. But fucking deal with it. What's this gonna get us? Hey, another map. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is the other side to the Eternal Prison. Interesting. Rather interesting that they're separated into two parts like this, but hey, that's okay. Eternal Prison Part 2, we're looking at 4, 6 by 7. some shit that we can fill in here. Just gonna try to remember which areas were which since I can't exactly backtrack for it. Um, but I think the key fairy was here. that was. I didn't get to that one. The save is supposedly there. This is supposedly a blood corridor entrance? Really? Interesting. Now, can we get to any of these is a real big question. That's in the throne of the underworld in her castle beyond the seven gates. Do not attempt to face her in the nakedness of innocence. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you, we are far from innocent. But hey, whatever. Flattered that you think so. Oh, here. Um, oh, sure. Mm -hmm. One gold to cross the river, ask for nothing else. Nah, I'll cross on my own. It's probably a real bad idea, but that will get us over to the... Oh no, that's not a, a blood corridor gate. That's a... Hmm, that's a warp gate to somewhere. So where is that going to go? Let's check it out. Let's chisby check it out. Will I be able to get back in through that gate? Ah! Jesus! Get off near! What the fuck, man? Ah, damn it! I didn't want to do a boss fight. Are you kidding me? Ah, crap. All right. Uh. First of all, where the fuck are we? Alright, we're right there. Um, second... How are we gonna fight this motherfucker? <laughs> uh, maybe the rapier? Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Uh, is there a safe spot we can be? Doesn't appear to be so. <laughs> Ow! Oh good, yeah, this is a real fair, cool, and awesome fight. Great! Fucking serious? So wait, how the fuck... Can we get there normally? Can we climb down there normally? That doesn't seem... ...doable, but we'll try it. We'll try it anyways, I guess, because why the fuck not? Excuse me. Just fucking let me down! Jesus. No, oh, because it would have had to have been... Well, 
I guess I need 400 bucks anyways somehow, so just kind of do some more exploration here. Alright, so it's directly below me, really, so... That's not gonna help. Two ice fire treetop. Let's fill this in while we're here. Doth near. Uh, uh, from the eternal prison. Okay, well, let's head back there then, so we know that we can do something. I'd really like to be able to save and and quick travel to Eternal Prison, though. That'd be really good shit. Maybe we can do that if we take the other path. Because we could have, uh... <clears throat> we could have crossed the river sticks by giving Sharon one gold. And then that would have been that. That would have led us to the save point, but I didn't want to save in there. So I was worried we might not be able to get back out. Boxes, please. Oop, that's again, that's again. what that's gonna do for us, but until we get over to that side, it's not gonna matter. Okay, and that soul gate leads to the fucking to the Daphnir, which we do not have tactics to fight just yet. Um one gold. You know what? Yeah. Really? I have to have only one gold. Fucking serious. How the hell are you supposed to get down to just one gold then? Fuck it, I'm gonna cross myself. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, they do that for that reason. What the hell, man? That's not fair. How the hell do I get down to just one health? Or one gold? I just have to buy shit until I have no money? That's kind of fucking lame.
And I hardly call having $92 being wealthy. Let's give me a break. Is that even a... Okay, so maybe I can get down over there? Seems like it'd be a risk to go over there like that. So what the hey-ho? Like, I have to come back when I've got no money? Literally no money? Because I don't think I can... Well... Alright, let's, let's do a little bit of science here. Can I double jump when I'm running? Is the science I wish to perform. Because there's a possibility. If I can double jump when I'm running, maybe I can get across without them, even though it's clearly not what they want me to do. Really? Fucking... Um... Alright. Well, while he's dead, then, let's do some science. I cannot double jump while I'm running, it appears. Can I get enough of a running start that I could, in theory, clear that entire gap? Oh, well, that was a good effort. <laughs> That was a good effort for it. Alright, well if I'm gonna go back and face Spadafnir anyways, I should at least try to get a health refill. See what else we can do up here. Uh, I can't get up there either, huh? Well, that's nice. Oh. Oh, but I don't have the Grippy Grants, because they took that away from me. Oh, you assholes. Ugh. No matter which way I go here. Come on, really? Ugh. Oh, I need the green goo. I need like eight more green goo, and then we'll be fine. Try to fight the Dafnir again. If things get dicey, we can now warp out. That's so lame. Just take me and steam it. We've got no other fucking choice. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. God, yeah, let's find every goddamn hole in the floor. Oh, and I'm not even hurting it. That is all fucking blue. Wait, 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 wait. All right. To defeat the Dafnir, need flame. The fuck, man. I don't have the flame. Sinmara has the flame, but I can't get the flame from Sinmara until I have the scythe, and the scythe is in the Eternal Prison. God damn it! What kind of fetch quest is this? All right. Well, that being the case, then let's fucking warp out and save. Clearly, we will not be able to do anything here. 
God damn it. So now... So we need 400 bucks to buy that ferry. And we need... One dollar, and one dollar only to cross the river. So, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck am I gonna get... $298 from? That doesn't involve doing a stupid grind somewhere. I mean, I suppose I could just buy a whole bunch of bullshit. Actually, hold on a second. Is there bullets for sale here? 500 bucks? Why is that so expensive? Cheap, cheap my ass. Asshole. Like, I need that. <laughs> I kinda need that. Oh boy. Okay. Well, what else can we do in the meantime, then? What else we can do in the meantime? Let's go to Swire. Uh, so Modgood was over here, and Modgood was talking about the Eternal Prison. Oops, I uh, should not go up there just yet. That would be bad for my health. Isn't there a fairy over here somewhere? Yeah. So ideally, this would make a pretty good grinding room, actually, if I could get the right fairy. Yeah. Just fucking make this short-ass jump, thank you. Hmm, actually, hold on a second. We might be able to pull this off with some fancy bullshit. That's not the one, I don't think. Uh, there. Dang it! Did we, does that count as getting the fairy? Sure as fuck does. Damn it. That's not the fairy I wanted! I wanted the green one. Son of a bitch. Alright, I didn't really want to come down here anyways. Telling us first enter the eternal prison. To enter the eternal prison, you must defeat the terrible bird Rudolph. That's not precisely true, because we were able to get into the eternal prison through the blood corridor. Rudolph here in the power of flame. Underworld deity of the Ennead who possessed the light scythe is held within the eternal prison. Cool. Cool, except that leaves out a key piece of the puzzle. Uh, alright, what if we go talk to Sinmara one more time? She was like, oh, well, bring me the fucking ouch. Bring me the light scythe and I'll give you flame or something, right? That's what her deal was. Oh, there she is over there. <laughs> power stolen from the Fairy King is mine. Power to control flame lies in Surter's room. Desire this power, then bring me a shining scythe, and I shall allow you in Surter's room, which is just north. I would love to, honey. I really would, but I don't think we can do that just yet. We 
need money. We need money. And the only way to get money, really, in any sort of volume is to have the dumbass green fairy with us. Which we obviously can't get since we got this red fairy with us right now. And it seems like they last for 10 billion hours, so... To have a walk around and see what we can do. Alright, fine. See ya, Red Fairy. Now, how long is it gonna be before we can go get that fairy point again? Actually, you know, I kinda wonder if we. If we save and reload, is that enough to reset it, do you think? Because that'd be kinda rad. That would be kind of rad and cool if we sort of bypass the whole waiting for it bit. What would be even more cool is if our accidental money grind spot still worked. But hey, can't win them all. Um, oh, do we still have that other warp point for... Yes. Um, where was the fairy spot? Was it over one more screen? I think? Yeah, it was over here. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Perfect, in fact. Ouch. That is... I think that's also a red fairy, so we might have fucked this up again. Yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? We're gonna grind us up green fairy. So that's the only hope we have in this world of getting the money we need. Hey, thank you for the double hit. That's so awesome of you. Uh, that is also a red fairy, isn't it? Okay, cool. Like, I know it's probably the most common one, but this is sort of ridiculous. I know there's a way you can force the type of fairy that spawns, but I don't think I have the stuff needed for it. Because why would they want to give you something convenient? What a silly notion. That is also a red fairy. Hopefully we... nope. Not quick enough. Did that still count? Also red. Right. Like watch, it's gonna be like a one in a thousand chance or something. It's relatively quick to get back. Oopsie. Uh, actually, that might still work. Might not need to do a full reload.
real efficient on the mini wing to get back to the spark. That's for sure. Because <laughs> I don't think these are always guaranteed red pairings. As long as you free them, they give you a random chance to get them all, don't they? Red as well. Perfect. Oh boy, we could be here a while. Play. Toko Mitsu. What the heck is that? That is a, a title that I have not even heard of. Which isn't that surprising, considering. I like to think of myself fairly well read when it comes to sort of strange game. It's also red. Right. <clears throat> well, if anybody wants to talk about something, now would be the time to do it when I'm doing this repetitive bullshit. Oh, now I'm back here. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, that's a mortal battlefield. Alright, this guy I've a city with a loink. Oh boy. Jetpack firefighting 3D action game. That's. That's quite a list of genres. <laughs> that is a. That is certainly a mix to have all in one game. Also, Seriously, this has been like 15 tries here. How about you just give me a goddamn green fairy so we can move on with our lives? That'd be really nice. Rejecting trigger pads are attached to both hands and feet, and you can shoot up in the skies if you have a jet pack. Try to move to extinguish fire delicately. Right hand, left hand, right foot, and left foot. That sounds... interesting. At least. Very Japanese game period ported into English. It's weird. It does sound rather weird. 
does sound interesting, though. I see a whole heck of a lot of games about firefighting. That's for sure. All men appearing in this game only wear underwear. <laughs> okay, I, that's uh, that's a bit of a change from the typical. Um, uh, I wouldn't say typical necessarily, but more standard. Uh, fucking let me climb the ladder. More standard. Uh, that's gonna be red. Okay. More standard uh, Japanese title made for Western audiences type thing, right? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It. We're looking this up. Because if it's easier to go find the thing that guarantees a green fairy, I'm just gonna do that. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. We can't get the thing that we need to force green fairies to appear. Ugh, that's fucking awesome. Well, should we keep trying this or should we just say fuck it and do something else? I will very rarely call things out as bad design, but this is fucking bad design. If I, as the player, feel like I need to do some dumb grindy bullshit to make any progress in your game... It's bad design. There's probably a better way to go about doing this, but it's not immediately obvious. Oopsie. Am I sure that I can't get that thing? Hall of Malice. I know I can get to the Hall of Malice. might be missing two things, actually. Yeah. Incredible. <sighs> and one of them <laughs> requires the key fairy, which is what I'm trying to grind up money to buy. So that's perfect. That's perfect.
in the stream today and it says their top donor gave 1500 bucks. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of money to just hand to some rando. Not like I wouldn't say no to receiving that, but Jesus, that is a lot of money. I too wish I had that sort of money to just give away. Okay, well that kind of puts the kibosh on the two things that we can kind of do. So... Now what? Now what the fuck can we do? I suppose we could take a quick scan through our maps and see what else stands out. Uh, we already scoured as much of the Eternal Prison as we could. Well, that's not exactly true, I suppose. We can still maybe look at some other part of it. We can go back to the, the smashy hands thing and see if we can psych it out and get past it, perhaps. Lost the chalice, now this will take away our grippy gramps. I think. Right? Yep, okay. Well, I'm not hundred percent short. Oh, there's thirty buckos. Okay. It's better than the one, two, or three we can get from the pot so far. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Um, I think that one takes me well if that one takes me back out maybe we can just Just warp out, save our gains, and go from there. So now I'm kind of unsure as to... Okay, this is where the smashy hands are. at least gives oh Jesus Christ uh, so I think this is the light scythe here but we can't get there and if we try to go down there it'll be just be like curse smash and then we're dead so um <laughs> I, I think no matter how you slice it we're probably proper fucked And even if I could get down there unscathed, I would be stuck. 
since those walls aren't open, and yeah, that's about it. Understand. Because I think. So is it here? So we can't get down to that save point without. And even if we could drop far enough to trigger the hands, we wouldn't be able to jump back up high enough. I don't think. Oh, now we're fucked. Yeah, they don't trigger until you're far enough down where you're fucked anyways. Cool! Cool. 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 Alright. Well, there's one more place in there we can look at, I guess. check if I had something else. I don't think we have the spots. Got the Vajra. I'm looking if we have the Spalder yet. We do not have the Spalder. Great. Okay. get out, probably. We're still short 260 buckos. So the other part of this is just kind of bopping that and climbing back up somehow. Uh, which we might not be able to climb back up, come to think of it. There's no ladder or other bullshit to get up there. We might have to warp out and try again. That just opens up the ladder up there. God damn it. I thought that would lead to something. Well, okay, that's kind of horseshit then. It literally gains me nothing. It literally gains me nothing. Great. Perfect. Getting up over there would be no value. What is crawling back up here do for me? Nothing.
Well, shit. Well, shit. So, kind of the only other option I have here then. First off, let's uh, get out of here with our ill gotten gains. Or perfectly legitimately obtained gains. quick top off and they were saying something about one of the gates being fake and there's some secret to it or whatever, right? So my guess is that the <clears throat> the gate that murders us right away is probably the, the fake one. And there might be something we can do to it to make it not murder us. That would be real nice. That would be a real nice change of pace. Let's go check on it, since now we've saved the 40 or so buckos that we got out of there. Science. Nothing. Okay. There's still this whole deal with the Yuga wheel. No grippy gramps. Thank you. Good. I'm glad we just got that health refill and now we're down to 90, 47, 41. Perfect. Health in this place the way it is. Here's the gate that'll just straight up murder us. Um, if there was a way that we could teleport into that tablet there, climb up, and still have the grippy gramps, maybe it would allow us through? Oh, cool. I got one pixel too close. Fantastic. Alright, let's go back there real quick. I wonder if there's some... some item or something that we need to present to it that says, hey... Asshole, let me through. Please. Let me through, pools.
side without uh, getting murdered there. Well, oh, maybe this is um, what's his face's burial mound? Who was it? Is it Pete? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's give this other gate one more go and let's see if we can earn any other info here. I jumped over it. I jumped over it cleanly. Fuck it. All right, fuck that gate. We're not going back. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else can we do? We could double check if that money grind spot still works. Didn't last time, maybe it will work now. It'd be real nice if it worked again. It'd be real super awesome. Nope, it did not. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Uh, oh, I know what we can find again. We can go find uh, that place that says those with ultimate power or something we shouldn't use it.
Where the heck was that? Hmm, I guess we can go back to the death, whatever. Or gate of death? Dead gate? Gate of the dead? There we go, close. We did kind of open this gate, and then we could never get to it. Because we needed double jump before, and then it just seemed to be like too tall to get to even with double jump, so it might not even work. I guess we'll see. Whoa! <laughs> Careful. Yeah, it's really the only option here. Oh, it's not even open, so... That's cool, I guess. Unless we can somehow... Oh no, we can't. Oh wait, what was that? Was that thing flipping and blapping there? Oh, well, son of a bitch, yeah. Oh, I think that interesting. Okay. That's something. I just want to do anything with that, though. Oh wait, that's the, uh... That's not the right mantra. That's the Eye of Ra, I think. Right? No? Am I mistaken? Hmm. Alright, I have another note about the five pillars here. I'm not sure what that means. for the five pillars. Although that might be pretty close to here. Think of it. I scan this thing. Is it going to tell me something useful? Of course not. the whole kind of five pillars deal, you right? This is where I solved the other thing, where I was like standing beneath the the one thing. Excuse me, sir. I don't know what 
this is considered the five pillars, but it's got the number five in it, so whatever. was the hint to... okay, I see. To call upon the mantra of the moon. This is how I would have unlocked it. Or how I would have known to unlock it, I suppose. Nice. Okay, well that's that's a pretty direct hint. I can appreciate that. Too bad it is no longer of any use to us. Alright, I'm gonna take a, a quick break here. Go refresh myself. I'll be back in a couple minutes. So, something something, five pillars, pedestal five statues, the Ra mantra, which I think is just the Sun mantra. Let's be in the right space so the task can handle not work to your favor. That's a pretty generic ass hint. Mm-hmm. 
Team is best in NPC, huh? Even better than Mulbrook? That's a tall order. That is a tall order, my friend. So just keep talking to these fucks. Maybe they'll tell me something eventually. Something, something, turn into a chimera. All right, well, cool, but... <laughs> that, that's all well and good, my friend, but, uh... Can you tell me something more than that? Oh, huh, okay. That's cool, I guess. I think the unicorn room, right? Yeah, okay, so we're done here. This is one of the weird pedestal things that required a sprinkling of pepper on it. To seek to undo the true seal, need only place a slight weight. Yeah, I, I mean, I sort of did that. I did the whole put pepper on the pedestal type shit. That's the whole deal I went through a long time ago. I remember it because it was actually sort of a clever puzzle. Gain an audience with Osiris after receive Mott's judgment. Present the proof of your judgment to Osiris' servant Anubis. Gain an audience with Osiris, you must also solve three riddles given to you by Anubis. This is all I know. Well, great. Can you tell- give me, like, a little bit more than that, please? No? Ugh. Mott's judgment. Alright, well, this is actually info I didn't have, so... Underworld... Cyrus. Need Mott's judgment, which I have no idea what the fuck that actually means. If it's, that's an actual item or just some other garbo. Presents to Anubis. Solve rules. Cool. Fucking cool. Break all white seals in the gate to the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum shall open. Two of the seals are in the unicorn's room in the room of the Dark Knight. The remaining two have been hidden as to never be found. 
I mean, yeah, that was the... Mm. I already kind of knew that. But... Like, is there any more to that? No, huh? deity of the fifth children is known as Osiris. He's a pitiful figure who became embroiled in war and subsequently banished the underworld. Her now that he is made to guard the secret treasures lying deep within the underworld. And for the purpose of using our secret techniques to restore Osiris back to life, while there I heard a story of a fairy who holds the key. Further down past the deadly river of the underworld, I've heard of fairies being held captive there. Yeah, I know that. I just need 400 bucks to free her. Can I borrow $210, please? Please, Nephthys, I need two hundred and ten dollars. You know I'm good for it. I'll pay you back eventually. Oh, the hell? Oh, cool. Thoroughly worthless information. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, we gotta find that place I was talking about don't use unimaginable power or whatever. Oh, here we go. It's in Ancient Chaos. So my guess at this one now is to use the scary face. Apparently that's not enough. He's talking about like a face contorted with rage and shit. And this is like the only thing that I've got that looks like it's contorted in rage. So there's like... And now this thing's on again, so what the <laughs> Oh man, it's so weird. Except for on this four trials, the four faces are a means to see the four ages. Place the correct offering in the correct hand for the correct age. Angel Zills all shall be revealed. Oh, I sort of see. I think this is the four fairies bit. Red, blue, green, and is the key fairy yellow? I guess, maybe? Hmm. No, maybe not. Maybe not, because it's talking about the four ages. The gold, silver, copper, and bronze, maybe? I don't know. Age of Blessing, the gold, the gold age. But I don't have anything that's even remotely gold-related except this, perhaps. I'm still missing whatever it requires of me here. 
leaf is silver. Copper uh, is copper, I believe. Age of world I'm not sure what the world of desires one's about. Despite these lights being lit up, I have no fucking clue what they want from me. Well, okay. That's the last thing I could have checked out that I had any idea what to do with. So... I still got a chest marked on Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that's one I forgot to check off. It's directly to the left here. Which might have been the double jumps, come, come to think of it. I just, in my excitement, forgot to delete from my map. Which, can you blame me, honestly? Oh, well, that's interesting. 400 bucks for ammo, that's not bad. Where the hell are we, anyways? Okay. And also, this other thing that I can't afford. Rose and Camellia. I'm here broken, try to buy some shit you to the crook. Why does this... Why does this frog have a gun, first of all? I guess I should have asked that first. But okay, that was... patently useless. Uh, hmm. Is there a way I can get back up there? To the other side? It doesn't look like it. Is there another warp point in there? Oh, I see. There's a stairway. Oops. Went a little bit too far. I forgot to mark off. Okay. Damn it. Got all excited there might have been something we could have gotten here. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Twitch subs thing's still broken, huh? Yeah. Amazing. Just amazing. Well, software dev is hard, man. Even for a literal multi billion dollar corporation. Gonna die. Let's get out of here now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, now we need somewhere else to go. So, where else can we go? Really, the only productive thing we can do right now is to grind up some money and buy the last fairy. I could sweep through most of these other areas. Let's go to the Hall of Malice. We haven't been to the Hall of Malice in a while. It's been a hot second since we went back there. Mm -hmm. 
Seek the power to destroy a kid and defeat the eleven children. The cog will reawaken this land. Well, we don't have the cog. We know where to get the cog. Like, essentially, we have three big ass special quests that we need to do. One to get the cog. One to get the light scythe. To get the power of flame, so we can defeat the Dafnir. Which might actually lead into getting the base to get the cog. Who knows? So. So maybe we can't even be here without... Well, what's over there? Maybe we can't even do anything else in the Hall of Malice without the cog. Oh, jeez, that was close. Who is over here? Are they gonna tell me anything? You know the secrets of the Underworld. In the Underworld there's a fairy man called Sharon. Yeah, we already know. We've met Sharon. So it's punished for allowing a living poet to cross into the underworld because he was moved by the poet's heart, but for a single coin he'll take you across the river. Yeah, but except I I need to have a single coin and a single coin only, apparently. Little bastard. This is interesting. So there's a path beyond here that we can't get to. It's just big fat ass stone skulls blocking the way. were a bit more generous. That'd be fantastic. Probably a dead end for now. Heaven's Labyrinth is about a dead end. Takamagahara, perhaps? Let's go back there while we're musing about other things. By chance I run across a green fairy, I'll know exactly where to teleport to to get some mad stacks, but... 
Seems those are few and far between. here where I wasn't quite done with. Yeah, I think this is literally telling me about how to get to the seal on this one. be here in this branch. Gee, thanks. Thanks, I guess. This place we've already been. Probably what they're talking about to borrow the storm ability from somebody else. On falling to the underworld, he lost his storm powers and may even be especially susceptible to storms now. Gee, that's seeming to hint like, hey, I should get storm power before I go fight this fuck. Good to know, actually. Good to know. Gahara Hara is not very useful right now. Oh wait, there's another thing. Hmm. Second, it's fourth back up there. That's right. There, so there was that hidden, uh, hidden room to the left, which I think is the dragon, whatever, right? Dragon labyrinth or something. Oh shit! <laughs> That's right. Forgot about that one. Forgot about that one. I feel like there was a hint about this that I've forgotten now again. Well, oh, that's a bitch. Wow, that really does crush you straight up, huh? Cool. Cool. suspicious about this too. Like this looks like it'll split open. <sighs> oh, it's 
honestly have no idea what I could pos possibly do to get that. Sky, yeah, that would be real nice to have, wouldn't it? We can't get it yet, though, because we need a seal, one of the, either the fourth or the fifth seal. Probably out of it now. Uh, hmm. Where else can we go? Well, we could go to Ancient Chaos again. The vase, the cog, the scythe. Uh, the power of flame, which we get after we get the scythe. The spalder, I know, is a thing that exists. We have the ability to get the key fairy once we get enough money. Pause on my item menu once and look for yourself. There we go. Whilst I peruse my maps here. Down in the Eternal Prison. I've gone as far as I can in both branches of it. Either to the point where I'm at the little smashy hand dealy in one branch, or, um. Let's see, what's the end of the other branch? Oh, 
one second. Oh, to the uh, warp to uh, Vidofnir in the second branch. Because I don't think I can get anywhere else in that one. I haven't gotten past Sharon yet, no. Because I need to get my money down to one fucking dollar. <laughs> And I'm already halfway to key, mo key fairy money, so I don't want to reset on that. So once we do that, really, we've got a few more things open to us. We know where Sharon is, we just need to not have so much money, apparently. Alright, what, what did I say I was going to do? I was going to go to Ancient Chaos. Chaos. I think we need to go to the top and left. Or top right, rather, so I can directionalize good here. Ah, oh, damn it. Do I need to get in here through the blood corridor? Yeah. Shit. Alright. Well, okay. Let's find a way to do that. to really use the grenades at some point. Like, it's been a long time since we've first seen them used. And we've seen a couple shops with them, but I haven't gotten the first ones yet. Oops. Although, this might not be the right direction to go. Uh, uh, actually, where the fuck does this go? Goes all the way up there. I don't know. This is where I wanted to be. Probably not. Can think of it. Let's see. Let's go this way. Right, the smell food. Uh, hmm. Did we ever go back here after it was melted? I don't know if I ever did. Let's see what we got. The nearest sign of the nine ruling siblings and the lingering consciousness of the extinct second children should not leave behind the true history of the giants. Siblings split apart and began to fight each other upon Buddha's act of revolt against the mother. There was one brother to key to question the fighting, his older brother Budo. Until then, a trusted ally tricked and used him. Aw, oh, that's a sad story. Slipping now may have no use for history of our now extinct race. However, so Keith deserves to have his terrible story told. As long as someone knows the story, I can rest in peace. Okay, cool. Did that tell me anything? <laughs> Necessarily told me anything. Told me that Sakit wasn't necessarily a bad dude, he was tricked. That's about all I got out of that one. Okay, well, I wanted to come back here anyway so we can get to the blood corridor again. That must have said where Sakit went. Yeah, he's in the underworld, supposedly, right? Alright, let's 
Let's go read that one more time, because I kind of glossed over a lot of it. The person executed dared into the underworld living has been passed on to the third children's underworld deity, which is Osiris, right? That's what they've been telling me. No, Osiris is in the underworld. And we can't get very far into the underworld without doing some other garbo. That's info. That's info to have, and I guess that weird pyramid-looking thing in the underworld was probably Sakit's dealy bop. Let's we figure out... Let's see, what was that otherwise? Is it Dark Star Lord, or...? Where's the Sakit's former association? I don't know what the fuck that means. Don't know what that means right now. I need to get to uh, ancient chaos. Which I think would be this. If memory serves, but memory rarely serves. So we'll see what we get. eventually. What the hell? That's not the direction I told it to go. Or, I guess it kind of is, but that's not gonna lead me anywhere, is it? I want to go to Ancient Chaos. <laughs> you know what, I may as well just look up the map for this. Order of Blood. Uh, so let's see, where did we make it to? We made it to... just in. Oh, the Hall of Malice. We need to go straight across to the left, I think. Or it would have been straight down from the Shrine of Frost Giants, so this might work. There's a, a door at the bottom of that thing somewhere, huh? Hmm. Weird. I just wanted to get 
get to the other side of Takamagahara and see if there's anything else there. We can make the swim. Because if we can't, this will be a, a real short trip. Hooray! <laughs> Great. Now are we not going to have enough health for this? And I didn't save after setting the thing, so that's real good. Fucking shit. Well, let's assume for the moment that that would have been worthless anyways. <laughs> Alright, well, do we call it for now? We call it for tonight and come back fresh on Friday? symbols for these things are. Which is good, but we already know the order, and we already know we need a lot of things, so... Still don't know what to do with these wheels, either. Still don't know what to do with this thing. Well, I need two mantras, neither of which I don't think I have. A bunch of this, which I don't think is right anyways. I wrote all these down already. And wind, wish, eternity, and then line two is night, eternity, child's road, mother. Might be important. seal, which we've done many times in the past. Hmm. Entered the underworld before. If you are to travel to the underworld, then I shall teach you what I once learned from Modgud. Fire erupting from the earth stretches towards the sun. You can't this before Garm, who will block your path. Who the fuck is Garm? I mean, I have that written down, but I just don't know what or where Garm is. But, that's something. That's something. Alright, well... Let's take another kick at the underworld, then. After getting a proper health from us. So that shit goes fast.
Maybe that's what I need to use in front of that other, other gate that murders me? Maybe that'll tell it to let me through? Okay, so let's see here. This isn't Garth. This is Sprelsger. Krasvulger? Something like that? There's some mention of a doorway down here, perhaps? It's down below. Oh, yeah, I guess technically it is, but how the f do we actually get to it? Silly. That would be silly and too simple. Alright, what is the thing below here? Uh, right. Deep Valley called Lickjen the Bowl. <clears throat> Some sort of secret to the fake gate. Yeah, that's good to know, I guess. And then there's this thing over here that we can't reveal because we don't have, presumably, the fire torque thing or whatever, right? But that looks suspiciously like a mantra we'll be getting later. Actually, let me write this down, since I don't think I wrote this down before. like that fairy. But I don't have 400 buckos for it. Little bastard. We already did this. We already did, played the Eden song for Eurydice here, but we can't get over there, so... Hooray. Or at least we can't get over there until we pay Sharon exactly one dollar. Seriously. Earth, Sun, and Fire. Yeah. 
Nope. All right. Fuck's sake. down there yet, have I? I think that's just a one-way ticket to get the fuck out of here, but may as well give it a go. It's crap to get out of here anyways. off here, which we can't defeat without the flame. Ugh. And we can't get by these without our grippy gramps, which they took away from us. Presumably dumb. Probably should have pushed that over to the right so I could get back up there. Oops. Well, too late. Oh, drops me up here. What the fuck? Weird. Hmm. Alright, well, let's pop back there one more time. that dump beat that kills us, but that could also be because we don't have everything we need to pass the gates to, so... Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this soon. If you see something super stupid that I'm walking by like 10 million times, by the end of the night, if I don't find it, feel free to tell me. Uh, this was not the right spot to go, was it? Oh yeah, actually it was. Oh no, no it wasn't, because I wanted to go the other way. Ah, shit. Can I get back up there? I can't. May as well, right? May just as well. I know there's one irrevocable path I could be taking. Oopsie. I could 
get my money down to one buck and cross the river sticks with share and sell. I could do that. That's uh, definitely something that could be done immediately. But I also need 400 buckos for the uh, the key fairy. I don't relish having to grind up a full 400. Uh, where the fuck am I going? Traces of poison. Why did that suddenly pop up here? Oh, that's right. There was also this thing that I didn't know what the fuck to do with. So here's Sakit's tomb or whatever, right? The top of it, anyway, since we know Sakit is in the underworld. Um, former association. I'm gonna try them one at a time, I guess. Which I swear I already tried these, but hey, maybe I just was not standing in the right spot. don't have the right one. I don't have the one I need, perhaps. Maybe it's some arbitrary combination of them. Who knows? No, well, whatever. It's a riddle for another day. Here's the thing where I think it's Garm or whatever. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Earth, Sun, Fire. Nope. Cool. Really cool. Okay, that's the last thing I thought to do.
Well, just for grinsies. Nope. <laughs> okay. Figured that wouldn't do it. Hmm. Well, maybe we wrap this for tonight. I'm clearly not making any progress here. Outside of grinding up 185 more buckos, there's not really a whole heck of a lot else I can really do at this moment. So I guess we'll call it there. That's fine. We'll call it there. I'll probably ask for a tiny hint next time, just to get some direction, but... For now, it's getting late. I'm very tired. <laughs> and still a little bit sick, so... I'm not willing to put in another... 45 minutes of aimless wandering. Alright, well that's it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30pm CDT. Schmuck book club time. Dangan, Fever on. Possibly some armed police bat rider. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like booting up tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>